Now we got a fire going on between here and Bozeman. Uh, it's uh, burning along in the bear trap, which I have to pass through, and I understand that uh, I think there's a 15 minute wait, like, uh, you know, because they're only letting one line of cars through at a time. So I'm heading to Bozeman right now to pick up my clays and my uh, bronze of um, Captain Lovewell, and uh, I'm going to head back uh, with the uh, all that stuff and probably take the northern route, which is along the freeway and down through Three Forks. But uh, beautiful day, just windy as all get out, and that's what's you know hindering the firefighters right now is the fact that uh, there is so much wind. Now you can see the smoke coming up over the hill here. It looks like they got traffic stopped up ahead. So we'll see what happens. I'll tell you one thing, this wind is not helping things at all. It's a south wind. I can see why they blocked off the uh, road for one lane traffic. Wow, that's all burned over there. It's all dark. This is bad. I've never seen it this bad before. All that's burnt over there. All over that hillside, it's all got burnt in black. Well, since I've lived here in 1988 to now, I've never seen a fire in this canyon. This is horrendous. Now there was a truck carrying beehives once that tipped over right about here and uh, a friend of mine got out of his car with all the bees flying around and got stung multiple times to try to save the guy that was in the truck and uh, he had lumps on his face for a long time. All that's burnt over there. Still smoldering pieces of wood over there. Wow, that whole other side of the river is all just black. See the smoke uh, south of here, that's the uh, bear trap on fire down there that we passed through earlier today. I uh, went to the foundry, got the uh, bronze of Captain Lovell, it's in the back of the van, plus a couple of bronzes that I'm taking along with me for the show, and the clay of uh, sweetgrass. So everything's in the van and ready to go home, and uh, tomorrow I'll do laundry and pack my van the night before I leave uh, on Thursday. So. Boy, the wind is really pushing. It's about 50 mile an hour winds right now, which is not good. <clears throat> okay, this is turning into a real adventure to get home. They're uh, turning everybody away from the canyon. You can't go through the canyon, so I'm having to go through uh, Manhattan, Montana, which is, uh, well, it's, uh, as you can see, a community of farms. 
beautiful countryside, but I want kind of would have nice to know before I left Bozeman that I couldn't get through the canyon. Now I got to go out of my way. But anyway, uh, okay, I'm looking down towards Pony, which is a little town uh, north of Venice and up in the mountains. And there's a fire there too. Uh, that one was started by a, a, a barn uh, fire. I guess the hay just combusted. Uh, you know, the methane gas builds up and eventually if it gets really hot, it, it, it explodes. And then looking south, there's the uh, bear trap fire, the one that keeps me from going home the direct route. And so I'm heading down uh, to where I was uh, a couple of days ago when I went to the canyon. Uh, the uh, Lewis and Clark cavern. So there's some dark smoke over there. I hope that's not a building on fire. Anyway, I'm on the uh, on the west side of the uh, fire now, and uh, heading south. I got about 24 miles before I'm home, but it's a pretty big fire. Well, that's uh, the Lemon Fire Report <laughs> for Southwest Montana. Coming down into uh, Norris from Harrison and Three Forks. The only ones undisturbed is cattle down there and that guy's uh, ranch down here.